just slip in here uh, another little uh, lot from the auction. Uh, lot 50 was um, £10 uh, plus commission. So again, £13 for this lot. And the last lot was mostly brooches. This lot is mostly earrings. So I'll show you what I've got. So I've already sorted these. Um, I don't want to be pulling our individual rubbish and detangling while you were on. So uh, this is a bag of started again for uh, jewellery that's, to be honest, bracelets are losing their elastic or something like that. And most of jewellery in here is okay, but I'll class it as a broken lot and then people can take it to bits and mend it or do what they want with it really. Um, so a few more bits to add into there. Uh, hair slide <laughs> uh, bangles I'll just do another bangles lot um, that's really really pretty but it's not attached to anything so that can go in um, got a few rings look at this it's a right knuckle dust of this look at that a uh, few rings not worth much on their own I'll just sell a dressing up lot at some point because as you know I've got a few bits to go through upstairs um, we've got uh, ethnic. Oh, and while I'm on that, I might put that with this. I've pulled out these. These were in this lot, and these are all. I'll do like a tribal um, bungle, bungle, <laughs> bundle. <laughs> um, and I might put a few sort of bracelets and stuff in. Uh, so that's that. Um, there's. This one here, now it's quite small that, it's, it's got good strong elastic in it, so, uh, but it's for a small wrist, I think. Um, these always make me think of the sugar because we used to buy moulds that were made out of these cabochons, um, full grade moulds, uh, and make little roses like that to go on cakes. <laughs> um, we've got a clamper bangle, um, floral. Quite pretty that actually, really pretty. A uh, collar, needs a good clean. I won't fancy that around my neck, but I know some people like these collars. Um, another one here, which is uh, charms type, and there's a, but that one's brass colored and this is silver, uh, charms type bracelet. Gold tone. And a rose gold tone, and then just these odd bits, odd earring bits. I'm not bothered about selling that, so I'll put that in there. Uh, and these, those are lang on to in case the other bits are. Um, God, look, a state of my table. I have had it a few years. Uh, I'll, I'll hang on to them in case I get any more uh, in the other lots. Um, that is like a gold colour, uh, but it's got 925 stamped on the back, which is a bit weird. Um, right, and then the earrings. So we've got pierced ones, uh, nice patterned and silver tone uh, hoops on those. I'll do a big hoop bundle, you see, if I end up with a load more. Um, Wired ones. So these are all posts. Uh, and these are the nicest with the post ones. These are Trafari. So that's those. These are all clip ons. And um, we've got some for clip on bundles because they're sort of plastic. Nice looking. But the plastic lightweight ones. Um, same with that. Uh, I just put a pair of these on, I said, Phil, does that take you back? He says, oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of these are Monet. So these are Monet. I'm saying a lot. Some of these are Monet. So there's that one. There's this pair here. Lovely and shiny. Danglis. Um, which else? There's hoops. I'm going to make a bundle of hoops. Um, these are the money. And is it this one? Yeah. And these. So I'll do these individually. 
Adeus. What's this? No, they're not. But they're quite nice. I think I'll do those individually. So, I always do the uh, sort of underestimate until I've had a look and see whether I can try for a bit more. But, like I said, paid £13 for this lot. So, I should get that back on the um, ethnic bundle if I put a few bracelets and things with it. And then, let's have a look at these. So, if I did estimate 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, right, I've got all these set of three, I think I'll do, set of three, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five. Day for bundles. Um, Seventy. Seventy-five. So, I should get minimum 75 out of this lot. Oh. Tell me about that. 80. Yeah. That'll do. I just had these empty boxes, you know, from that lot I've, I've videoed. And uh, I've got these brooches separate. And I've just had a look, and this one said hand painted by Ruth McKindley. So I've done a bit of research, and this is exactly the sort of thing she did. Uh, floral brochures. Uh, she's died now, I think. And uh, yeah, I've just got to look up the whole marks for a date on it. Uh, but that's in its original box, so I should probably pop that one on Etsy. So it's worth looking through your old boxes and trying to match them up. Right, this lot is lot 13. Unlucky for some. Yes. Yes. Uh, Friday 13th and uh, lot 13. A selection of modern costume jewellery, including diamante, imitation pearl beads, large ornate necklaces, fancy bangles, bracelets, etc. One tray, £13 again. So there's a theme running here, isn't there? So I've already sorted it. Save you a load of hassle. We've got going in the broken lot some huge chunky but with some stones missing so somebody can pick them off and or use two to make one good one or whatever uh, so that's going in the broken lot uh, these are fetched up from downstairs so uh, some of them can combine into one uh, I've started a bag of stuff which is it's all right it, it's all um unbroken um workable if that's your if that's your thing uh and that's very silver color but no markings on it at all there'd be a lot of silver there if that were real wouldn't there uh and these beads i'll put those in there so we've got the start of a you could resell or wear or dress up or whatever you want to do with them uh one that's got 925 written on it, but I need to test it. It's got no fastener on, so it's broken anyway, but I need to test it and see if it's going in my, uh, my little uh, gold and silver bag. And then mostly um, these earrings, most of them are odd um, and not really worth doing anything with anyway. Um, I can chuck these in my box for hoop bundles. I've got these that say love. Uh, and we've got some diamante half hoops and that, but that's it out of that lot. I mean, look at the size of that. That's brilliant, isn't it? I spend half my time getting my hair out of them. Uh, so they're no good. Then we've got uh, a few bangles to go in the lot. There's three chunkies here, which I need to look at in daylight and see whether I'm happy with the, the colour on them or not. Um, 
under per owner uh, mesh one so not sure on those but these should be okay so i've got these three out of this 13 so uh i'll try and get my money back on a job lot but th there's probably about a pounds worth there to go towards the bundle uh, and then these three i quite like this one this is a a bib um did look lovely against a black jumper uh this one which is like lots of pins and then i think this one is pretty this is uh leaves this is is only accessorized but you know if i could do a fiver each on them i'll be all right i knew some of these lots i'd be lucky if i get my money back oh, i've got a clamp of bangle here which is uh, it's like silver tone and mesh yeah so that's it in that lot i'm afraid mostly bundles right i'll make this the last one on this video this is lot uh 21 now this wasn't on my list of ones i wanted to uh bid on but when it came up it ended up with him going down until he got to a fiver uh, and they were getting a bit desperate, so as soon as I put my fiver in, more or less, he put on my down. So it was £6.50 I paid for this because nobody else wanted it. So let's have a look and see if it's a complete bag of crud. <laughs> I'm going to try and prop you up, actually. Uh, and we'll get them out of the bag as we go because I've not done that, I don't think, on this one. So, uh, I'll just shut that because neighbours will wonder what I'm doing with this light on. And, uh, right, let's get comfy. Oh, I've got my light on. Now, how am I going to prop you up? Let's have a look. It's always good having a... I want one of them rigid tripods. Right, so what where does that fit? There. slide that back and then put them here yeah I do that so this is catching my eye look at those wow oh, I hope they're all there they're a bit missing let's have a look Goodness me. Goodness me, they're really got a real sparkle to them. Oh, so it's just a hook. So that's lovely. They're uh, like an open back. Can you see the point? Open back bezel set. And uh, that. Where'd that go? Into. Oh, it just hooks around one of them then. Yeah. Don't like the fastener. I don't like the fastener, so I have to have another look at that. But yeah, beautiful beads. That's that. Let's see what's in this box. Sometimes there's loads of stuff, sometimes nothing. Oh. Uh, brass earrings. Gosh, very tribal then. A pair of brass earrings in a Pearl Company box. What's that? Nice box. What's in these cards? Uh, we've got peacocks, sold collars like that before, uh, for about £10. Um, look, that's got six on card though, so I've actually got more than that for one now, but I'm happy to sell it as it is. I'm going to take the uh, charity shop label off, so it's obviously like a charity shop that's sent to me. To auction it off, so you can't blame them, can you? In the short, so that's that. 
I think I've got my fibre back. Oh my god. Oh yes. Still stuck on. Wow. Blimey. That would look stunning with the right dress and the right person with the right head. Not me, but there you go, that's good. Chains, these look like milk glass. And that's, right, so there's a few of these faceted. They've got like an AB uh, style covering on them. There, so is the chain all right? And Yes. Oh, seriously need to get my fingernails done, but I'm not sure I'll be able to function these days if I got them done. Yeah, I can't go now I'm done, so I'm going to have to venture in and have a go myself, aren't I? Uh, we've got a hairband with cat's ears. <laughs> they even put that on the description. Um, where was it? Lost it. Number 21. Uh, imitation pearl bead necklaces, faceted bead necklaces, gilt coloured bracelets, novelty hairband with insect cat ears. <laughs> yeah, I think even Gab's is too old for that. Um, oh, chunkies. I've got two bags set up ready to just drop stuff into. This one's got chain through it. Some people like things on ribbons. I, I, I didn't think at first that I could sell stuff on ribbons, but some people like it when they're allergic to uh, metal. Um, having said that, I'm not going to go on this one. I'm just going to chuck that in the... Uh, you can sell it on if you want to a bag. Well, just tie it off. More, more pretties. A few stones missing out of that, which is a shame because it's a double strand. It's a double strand, but I'm not going to mend it. I won't be. I won't be mending it, so I'll put that in there. Some craftsmen. We'll make short work of that, I'm sure. Somebody likes sparkly, didn't they? Yeah. Black jumper. Yeah, I'm glad to that one. I don't think we're doing bad for his fiver. These are nice. Glass. Don't look like they've been restrung. Screw clasp. So all of those. Satisfying sound that rattling. Uh, that one will. It's got a little bit of. A little bit of wear on the beads that's coming off. Put that in real quick. Let's find some more sparkly. Ah. Got a crucifix. So. Crystal Rosary. Pretty. Glass again. Uh, I think they've been restrung those. 
pretty though, I'll think about this. Right, beads. One. And the bracelet. And another. I've got so many beads that uh, I've hit a point where I just need to pass these on. Now. I have got loads in that box underneath. Imitation, but pretty. So I'll put that in one of my bundles. And all these I'm going to put in the... You can sell them if you want to. Uh, bracelet with soggy... Soggy elastic. Where was it from? Hmm. Oh, I bet you can read that even through there, can't you? Let's have a look. KM. Don't know who KM is. You can scream it at it. There's an earring for me. You can scream it at me if you want, but KM, I don't know. Not doing anything with that broken. Uh, gold tone. Wow, blooming out. That's a very yellowy. Very yellowy gold tone, but I've got a. Uh, a bundle of these going on downstairs. The clasp it. Yeah. I've got a bundle in the making. Um, rose gold. Rose gold finished chain. Somebody. Right. Look at that pretty thing for a minute. I'll have a look at this. It says bronze Milo Italy. M. Yeah, M I L O R, Italy. That's going on one side simply because I want to put it up. Bracelets. Hair side. Actually, if I can clean that well enough, I might be able to hold my hair up nicely with that. I'll have a go with it once I've disinfected it. Uh, of like Christmas tree beads here. I forgot what it looks like. God, I don't know if it's this light or what, but this is so gold gold. Um, no name. No name. No fastener look. So I've broken. Somebody might have a little fastener. Make a nice pendant out of that. Sorry, that just deafened you. Uh, beads for the crafters lot. I took a leaf out of Lex's book and been chucking them straight in bags instead of putting them on one side. It just makes another job, doesn't it? Right, these are look like hand carved 
Now, are they all different? That's all. Right. Yeah. Oh, not sure. Not different enough to be hand carved, I don't think. No. Uh, school class. Sorry if I'm out of shot all the time. That's them. It's a nice strong one. They look like real pearls, don't they? Yes. Yes. They're gritty, but they're not going to be worth doing anything with them, so put them in crafters. Um, along with that. And yeah, somebody could do something like that. Right. And last thing, very delicate ankle chain. I'll put that in there. So after that, fibre, we've got the vintage pearls and the glass beads. Uh, we've got some ears to see if Gabs does want them. Um, Dressing up something, um, crystalline necklace there. One, two, three. With the rosary, I'll put that in a little set. Okay. I've got about eight things out of there for me fiver. I've just realised that this um, foam's been sliding down all the time. So if this looks a bit chopped up, it's because I've had to cut half of it out. 